the year on the newspaper here? Let's see. 1979 is the year on this newspaper right here. Alabama Farmer's Bulletin. So I imagine they lived out in the middle of nowhere in Alabama. Look at this right here. Mm. Made in Japan, that's cool. Welcome back to the channel, another day, another unit. Still not feeling too well, still got, I'm all stopped up and congested, so if I sound weird, that's why if you hear me sneezing and coughing and all that stuff, that's why. But Anne's brave, she's still out here. She came to help me anyways, even though I'm not feeling well, but work must go on. But we're here, I got a unit for $370, it's 10 by 10, we're down in Morrow, Georgia. It's vintage stuff, at least from the pictures and everything, it looks like it's gonna be all vintage. Probably an older person stuff, so hopefully maybe we'll find some cool vintage antique items. I need small stuff for sure. Been having a hard time finding any kind of small stuff in boxes. Everything I've been getting has had very few boxes in it. And here's the, um, we're at U-Haul, so they got the spot here where people are supposed to put stuff, the reuse thing, but most people end up just putting literal garbage here, which is what it looks like now. It's kind of ridiculous, because then they just have to clean it up. I mean, this is not even, it's literally just garbage. But I haven't in the past. I've found a few things in these places a few times. But we're about to head up now. We gotta go up the elevator to the next floor. Way, way, way. See how big this building is? It's a huge building. It goes on forever and ever. We're kind of right out in the middle of the building on the next floor. But we're about to head up there now and see what we got. Oh, we're down. Okay. Yep, yeah, we're down here. Let's leave. Um, I'll leave two of these out here at the moment, Oof. so we're not so crowded. So take these two. Yeah. Ow. Ugh, I left this paper layer, so I remember which one it was. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, yep, it is a 10 by 10, but it does have the little door. It just goes further over that way. All right, and as you see, this side is not all the way full. We do have some furniture items, different stuff. Then this side is full. Got boxes loaded up. There's an old chest freezer. But we got like the old Mayflower moving company boxes here. But if we look over this way, look, even the... We got the old mop, still has the old packaging on it. A dollar nineteen. Oh, yeah. Got a bunch of bed rails here. We got a vintage badminton set. It's pretty cool. It's badminton. I guess you got the net and everything. Um, lots of boxes though. Probably a picture or a mirror. Same thing here. We got some kind of metal plant rack. Some some vintage chairs. Look at this chair here. This is pretty nice. Like one that would be on by uh, a little vanity or something other furniture back there but hopefully there's going to be some small stuff in here it looks like maybe there is with all the boxes but won't really know until we get in there it could all just be old mildewed clothes that's no fun yeah that wouldn't be fun but that may be what it is and that could be it but let's see I hope not. all right so that right we can put some of these bed rails and stuff on it and some of these pieces here but Let's um get something interesting. There's a vase or something back there, but it's all broken. All broken. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's just up on top of there, bro. I hope I brought my knife. Okay, I did. Oh, and I, I just dropped it. <laughs> I just dropped it and went back there. Oh my goodness! It f it went onto here and then it fell down in this crack. It's, I don't know where it went, it's somewhere back in there. Okay. I don't know, this is, if this is like a tabletop or what? Yeah. But now my knife is back behind the dresser, so. 
see if I can just kind of open one corner of it maybe and see what it, it looks like something it's got a bunch of packaging it was like it was professionally packed I think at some point it might just be a big piece of glass I think Yep, it's a it's a wooden framed mirror, I believe. It might, I wonder if it's one that goes on a dresser. Okay, so we won't do. That's a lot of unpackaging. We'll just leave it in there for now. All right, let's get one of these boxes down and see what kind of stuff we're gonna find. Maybe it might be just the mirror that goes on yeah. that dresser right there. Oh, this thing's heavy. Whoa. This box is really heavy. Okay, luckily the tape's been on here a long time, so it's not very sticky anymore. Liquor, Kitchen, liquor, food, wood trays. We're gonna have some vintage food. Yeah. Wouldn't <laughs> surprise me. Oh. Yeah, I think this was definitely probably professionally packaged. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's good stuff, but yeah, look at the look how worn out that is. Good lord. Might have been somebody again been putting a nurse in the home or something. These are just old, dingy pots and pans as far as so far. But maybe there'll be some cast iron or something down there at some point. But right now they're just worn out. Just worn out pots and pans. More of them. Just worn out. There's a lot of good wood. They were well used. Sure. We freak down to the bottom and grab it. Okay, ooh, this is cast iron. I can tell how heavy it is and I can see the end there. We do have some cast iron. There's number five cast iron skillet. And another one about the same size. It's got a name on it. It's hard to see. What does that say? I think it just says, what in the world? I can't read it. It says, um, something skillet. Oh, eight inch skillet. Okay. It's just hard. Okay, so. So a couple cast iron. Is there more down in here? Hopefully, because that's. The, those other ones ain't gonna be worth nothing in the condition they're in, but these are. That's got, a, that's got so much junk on the bottom of it that I can't read it. Oh, what? oh yeah, yeah. You can clean them and, and yeah. season them. So yeah, there's a bunch of them down in here. It don't really. It doesn't matter how dirty these are. That's a Wagner. I can read it right there, Wagner. You know, it's got a lot of old. All right, we're gonna pull another box down here. Upright cleaner attachments. I wonder if that's what it is or something else stuck in here. Uh, yep, these old vacuum attachments right here here's another heavy box sewing machine NT it's it's an old Singer sewing machine. <laughs> this one's heavy too, Ed. They're all heavy. Good Lord. What does it say? Books. Books and games on this side. Ooh, look at this. I like that. Hope that's in there. Alright, this is a box for a Mark's electric train set. Let's see if this is up in here. It is in here. Let's see. It's a little bit discombobulated, but I think it's all here. There's the locomotive. We got another car. Coal car. There's no caboose. So there's three cars. 
track and the um the little transformer here so that's pretty good not a it's a small set but still good I'm trying to see a year on there i don't see a year displayed right here all right right here looks like we got some older books the winston dictionary for schools not in the some of these are not in the best shape done in there don't like wall mount channel master What this is. Alright, I'm not sure what that exactly what that is. Enjoying English. There's some old books. I don't know if there's anything real good in here. Some they're in pretty rough shape. That's in real rough shape there. The Gospel of John. Here's another one. This one is heavy, but not as heavy as they've been. Does it say anything on the outside? Lamps, maybe? Lamp. It says lamp shade. Maybe that's why it's not heavy, but I don't... This does not look like a lamp shade. What is this? Look at that right there. A little vintage oil lamp. Tiny one. This... Ooh, maybe this goes on a lamp. What is this? Ooh. I thought it was the beads for a lamp, but it's a bunch of tiny. Whoa! Look at this, Ann. It's, it's all these little animals. Oh, nice! Little miniature animals. These are cool. Very vintage looking. Mouse, swan, all kinds of stuff. There's an elephant. <laughs> Nothing crazy here, but yeah. green, little vintage green um, vase yep. here. She's got more tiny stuff, more tiny, looks like more miniatures. That one might be broken right there, but look at that on the vintage cat. It's got a chip on there, but that'll that'll still sell. <laughs> Old doll, so all kinds of cool stuff in here. Definitely not. There, maybe there's a lamp shade down under there. Yeah. But what's the year on the newspaper here? Let's see. 1979 is the year on this newspaper right here. Alabama Farmers Bulletin. So I'm imagine they lived out in the middle of nowhere in Alabama. Look at this right here. Made in Japan, that's cool. Yeah. Look at the face on that duck right there. That's unique. Okay. Alright. We're open just a couple more things here just to give you an idea that this box is just loaded down with all kinds of stuff. Something big right there. This is something bigger. Oh, this is cool right here. Oh, it's yeah. a little dog planter. Yeah. Still got some dirt in it, but it just has such a cool look to it. Old dirt. It's got something long there. Up oh, some little cast iron. Little wall hanging. Yeah. Oh, look. That goes right here. And then it's a little hook yep. to hang stuff on. That's cool. Cast iron yeah. owl. That's cool. That is. That's... It's like little. I mean, they literally, they just picked up this house. In 1979, it looks like, or somewhere around, put everything into these boxes, and I think it's just been there ever since. This paper is just like kind of falling apart as you kind of unroll it. This is a time capsule unit right here. I mean, this paper is so brittle. I'm trying to unwrap it, but it's just kind of falling apart. Did you do the long one? Mm -mm. I'm gonna open that one too. This is just a little vase, but it's cool. Look, look at this vase. It's got it's enameled on in the inside and the outside. It's like got all these different swirls and colors and everything. Oh, is that wood? Yeah, this is wood. We got a wood carving right here. Does it have any marking on it? Or? No, but that's that's good. 
I want to keep o opening this stuff up. I know, stuff in here. It's kind of neat. That's, this is broken though, unfortunately, right on the top. There's a vase. But it's definitely broken on the top. Is that, that way to keep it from breaking there? Lots of little tiny stuff. Look. Little, little elephants. Little turtles. Look at this stuff. This stuff does really good in the auction. All this miniature stuff. Yeah. I guess. When you start opening it, the paper tears. This is like a rubber stopper, but it, look, I think it's Big Bird. Look. I don't know what it was a I don't know what it was a stopper for, but here's a little deer. Ceramic deer. Ooh, hang on, just call it. Looks like maybe a perfume bottle or something. I wonder if it does it say Avon on the bottom, maybe? Nope. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. This is awesome. It's the panther. Oh, he's been glued at some point. He was broke right down the middle. And he's got the two little ones chained to him. All right, we're gonna have to. We'll have to stop. But we're gonna. I'll have to film this box later on when we go through the whole thing, because there's still a ton more stuff in there. Way up here on the top. Okay, it's the first box that didn't weigh a lot. This one's really light. Maybe this is a lampshade. It feels like a lips. Very, very light. And oh my goodness. Look at these lampshades. Holy, oh, but look at these. Oh my goodness. They're like red velvet. They're kind of starting to dry rot right on the inside, so you have to be careful with the red velvet lampshades. Yeah. Put it up on top. Yeah, don't want that one. Oh, it says there goes lampshades. Yeah, that one. You don't want to fall. I think it's all right. It's all I think it's okay. As long as you don't drive crazy like you do sometimes. All right, this one here is light, but not as light as those lampshades were. So. Does it say anything? Does not say anything that I can see. It's like maybe just some like a big old metal basket. What is this? This is what in the world? Look at the barrel on this thing. I think they made that or cut the end of it off. I'm not sure. I think it's I think it's a toy of some sort. I don't really see any markings that I can make out that's got so much there's something right here, let's see. Um no, I can't make anything out because there's a lot of rust on it and everything. Alright, let's put it back in there for right now. It's just kind of some loose, kind of a weird box, like just some big metal. I don't even know what those are. I mean, there was a metal basket, really not a whole lot in there. two of these chairs unless there's another one somewhere up in there but two of these these are actually in really good shape look at the seats on them very clean really nice a couple of vintage chairs here we got the chest freezer wonder if there's anything in this thing Ann. what do you think I, uh, a gibson eight it's empty okay this is K, K glass. I'm assuming that's kitchen glass. It's heavy. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. And the bottom, the tape is just completely coming off because it's so old that it's just not sticking no more. So. Probably going to be like yeah. serving wear and stuff. I'm assuming. It's been a lot of um, whatever you call this stuff wrapping on the top. All right, here we got. US 1952, this kind of like enamel mm -hmm. bowl right here. That is cool. wonder what those go on. Yeah. Even look at these little tacks. 19 cent sterilized tacks. <laughs> they just have a cool looking package or something. Oh, I think it's like nails or something inside. Stocking jimpy. There's an old paintbrush. This looks like it might be like Pyrex type stuff maybe or something along the way. Look at these. Yep, these are Fire King. Yeah. Fire King mugs right here. These are nice. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna same thing, it's just so much of it and, it and everything's wrapped up so much. We'll definitely have to look through this more. So we when we get some, room, yeah. I'll tell you, it's just easier if you're where you're gonna take it out and put it out because it's so time consuming unwrapping and then wrapping it back. All right, another box, another heavy one. It says GT right there. That might be maybe initials from their name or something. Or maybe whoever passed them. Maybe, uh, maybe yeah. And down in there. Okay. Oh, look at this. Buddy L wind up fast freight train. It's in there. All right. Same thing. It's just, I don't want to pull this out. It's packed all down in there so tight. If it, it, it's, well, it's kind of coming up. Okay, let's see. All right. All right, but we are missing one of the cars out of it right there. So that could be down in the box. Yeah. All right, look at this awesome metal plant stand here. You got a spot on the top to look. You get little steps going all the way around to put your plants on. That's really cool. And then we got... This was some kind of like a, a floor lamp, I guess. Kind of a rough shape, but this vacuum is kind of rough too. But look at this thing rug okay, it's a rug shampooer, rug shampooer, floor polisher, Regina two speed heavy duty. Oh. That's it's an alarm when somebody opens up one of the doors, and it's fine. Another box says K glass, so probably more kitchen glass. That's one thing people used to have a ton of kitchen stuff, even more than we do now. Yeah, the bottom, I saw it right at the end. But they used to have a dish for everything. Well, actually, they'd have five dishes for everything. And that's what it looks like. This is probably going to be a lot of probably dishes and stuff in here. Just open one or two just to. Oh, we get some old. Chief, Chief Wanu Electra Electronic or something. We get some. There's one of this one right here. That's kind of cool looking bottle. And we got a little yellow in there. So once again, there's actually another one in there. What color? Two more. There's another yellow one. There's more. They just keep coming. Purple one. The more you unwrap, the more there are. Another purple one, and these are all marked. Nectar, the Golden Life, Health and Vitality. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. yeah I think Falling apart, yeah. We're gonna wrap one more one more thing at the moment. And then we'll move on. Five ninety nine on a on a Spider Man boys Spider Man shirt. No, it's a whole pajama set. Five ninety nine. Oh, look what we got here. We got a vintage toy. What is that? I don't know. And then look what we got here. Anarcho Japan. This is gonna be such so interesting to dig all the way down. I gotta do one more. Yeah, okay. One more. I want to. I want to unwrap it all. But... And then we got. Uh oh, she's on a chain. Oh, this oh. is cool. We got the lady here. It's her poodle. The lady and two poodles on the chains. That is cool. That is cool. So she apparently like, she collected those. Maybe that's the second one we found. One more thing, one more thing, and one more. Here's one more. Here's one more. This is it, I promise. It's a boxing cat. The nose is broke, those chips. But see, that'll, even though that thing's got chips on it, it'll still. Yeah. Oh, it's a half of a salt and pepper shaker. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if the other one's there or not. It wasn't in the same, same thing for sure. Get it to where we can get to this case now. We got this nice gold chair here we can kind of pull out a little bit now it wants to come falling out let's see all right i think it's a radio of some sort but it's in rough shape so that's a stereo stereo hi-fi there's where knobs were but the knobs are missing okay we got speakers up oh, and then we do this again oh my goodness this thing got like melted I don't know, it might have been stored somewhere hot maybe i don't know so net so this would definitely be a project for somebody somebody would still buy it but it needs some work for sure that's just melted to that knobs all that but it still has a really cool look to it somebody could do some work on it we just put this old this thing is <laughs> definitely gonna be trash old nasty mattress in a box they boxed it up moved it and it looks like i got my wish and I get, there's lots of boxes because there's a whole another pile of boxes back here behind that so these will definitely be fun to dig through there is some more furniture a china cabinet different stuff back here but lots of boxes not sure what's behind here but i think it's gonna be more there's some little furniture on top but i'm thinking it's gonna be more boxes and miscellaneous all right this box here i'm curious to see this was xmas miscellaneous let's see if we got some cool vintage christmas stuff here or is it even christmas stuff at all and let's see yep look at this right here that is definitely vintage for sure we got the old the original old like c9 lights and stuff in there look at that plug on there okay let's kind of put that back in a, a little bit looks like a, there's a chandelier hanging in here taking up a lot of the room actually but right here this is all christmas yeah the, these are vintage another one of these kind of plastic pieces here and there are some vintage ornaments look at this one right here that's actually is that a tree topper i think so it's from back i think it is yeah this is cool but it's broken in several oh. places it actually is broken really bad the whole top of that deer is gone and there's several more kind of packed down in there but just a lot of these little balls with the string I don't know how you describe them, but and most other stuff I can't quite get to without pulling all this out. It looks like there's a, a Tupperware piece right here. Vintage Tupperware pitcher. Alright, so probably some, once you pull all that out, some 
some good ornaments in there, looks like. All right, we got us a vintage mattress collection. We already took one to the truck. A couple more here. This one might actually be sellable. Like me and Amber were just talking about, these would be good for movie props. You were doing a a scene that you know needed the whole bedroom set up and the mattress was going to be seen and then looking here we got more of them mattress mattress i think that's a mattress so we got us a whole 1970s and before mattress collection going here old heater? yeah that's an old heater up there in the top an old gas heater but that's why there's so much bedding there's a lot of a lot of boxes that have bedding and stuff it's because obviously they had a lot of beds but there was a whole pile of bed rails there looks like we got more bedding in this box vintage bedding you see here um and yeah it's like old blankets and stuff this box is just wanting to bust all apart this one looks like well this one doesn't weigh nothing Oh, we got some old stuffed animals. That's kind of cool. It's kind of, they're like kind of stiff. Instead of floppy, like it'll stand up. Here's a dog. A little terrier. Here is a donkey. Daniel, don't look any further. You'll be unhappy. Beanie Toys. St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Genie Toys. I, Ann's already pointed out, and I already said another Christmas tree stand down in there. We cannot sell those things. We keep the last two weeks. I'm not exaggerating. We've gotten over a hundred of these. That's because one unit had probably a hundred, and then we've gotten a few more in other units. And then we got a big old. This kind of looks like something you'd win at the fair or something, but I don't know. Maybe that's how they made stuffed animals back then. They're kind of kind of stiff instead of floppy. Like most of them you see now in this box. I don't know why this box is falling apart because this stuff doesn't weigh nothing, but it is. All right, we got a couple more boxes in this pile. Let's see. Does it say anything on it? Oh, shoes, shoes and pockets. Maybe pocketbooks. Pocketbooks. <laughs> <laughs> it just says pockets. Is that even what's in oh, here though? Look at there. But that's, that's just plastic. Oh, I thought it. Was, Look like it was cast iron, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. This is a oh, this is a heating pad. Old heating, but I don't know if I'd use this thing. Look, the cord's completely. If I can get it all out, yeah, the cord is um. Use it cord's kind of dry. Oh, here's a pocket book. She put her name on it, I guess. Mary. Yeah. Golf master. Yeah. Portable driving range that improves your swing. Yep, here's more of these, but these are plastic also. They look cast iron, but they're not. They look scary. What is this? Oh, it's a... just a vintage stuff. It's this is like a um, original Beanie Baby, is what it feels like. Nikki. The way that's like 1975. The way they just made a yeah. seam around it and then yeah. sewed it together. That's funny. Yeah. I think another one in here. Maybe another. Yep, it's a little doll. Was in that other box. Uh huh. Okay, I think the shoes are down in here, it looks like. Which, you know, if it's a bunch of high hills and stuff, ding, 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 they're ding, gonna be ding, all dry ding, riding. Ding. Uh oh, we got a little box here. It's coming apart. And uh, there's not jewelry in it. We got an old lock. Very old. old master lock. No key, I don't, I don't see. Well, there was a thing that had keys in it somewhere. The uh, that thing that had the buttons in it had some keys. Here's another old master lock. Those are cool. These actually can do pretty well. People collect these old locks. If you have the key, you're doing even better. But just kind of some miscellaneous nothing in here. Let's keep digging. And what is this? No drink until Valentine's Day. We got. Today is Valentine's Day. Look, we got some vintage Valentine's. These are like the tops from um, a box of, you know, candy. Those are kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But today is Valentine's Day. They're going to be hard to sell from this point on. By the time we get this stuff back, Valentine's Day is going to be just about over. I think there is other stuff besides shoes and pockets in here. 
picture frame. Is there a picture in here? Oh, yep, there are pictures. That's the first anything personal that yeah. we've seen. What is this? Oh, there's um, yard tools, garden tools. I thought it was like a utensil, but these are garden tools. Coaster set because that's the second one. Mm -hmm. Three. 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 What in the world? Oh, oh my gosh. This thing is just completely dry rotting. It's a girl in a. Look at that. It's a roll of toilet paper. Oh! They put some kind of junk on it. It's completely dry rotting, this material around it. But it's a roll of toilet paper with a lady in the middle of it. I'm not Ugh. sure how these hang on here. It's five o'clock on all the coasters. Uh, no drinking until look at, five. Now look at this right here. Somewhere or another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somehow they got it. Okay, on it's that. a set of coasters. No drinking until five. I think they just go. Well, maybe they'll just they just hang like that. Oh, there you go. And, and they all have five o'clock. So yeah. that's mm -hmm. funny. This is from the seventies, but you know the whole it's five o'clock somewhere. Here's a whole set of coasters. This is, those are pretty unique right there on the set of coasters. That is cute. That is definitely vintage. <laughs> what else do we have? Like more stuffed animals. Man, this thing is flattened out, but this kind of, it's a cat. Ooh. Definitely got the vintage look to it. There's a couple pair of shoes, but not very many in here. And for that to be what's written on the side. We get a doll here. Her eyes are like all got all the white junk all over them. Another doll. Oh, it's a net on her face. Okay. I thought her face was cracked. Yeah, that's what it looked like at first. We got dolls, several dolls, and here's another one. Ooh, that that toilet paper with the junk on it, the stuff's just but like. They, I, used, all over the place. I had a doll like that when I was little. They made the use the toilet paper to hold mm -hmm. the dress out. But the stuff that's on it is just yeah. turning into yeah. dust, and it's going all in my face. Here's another stuffed animal. Ooh. Look at that one there. Beloved toys. My Valentine. We got a Valentine's dog there. It looks like there's a couple more stuff. Unfortunately, that one's getting the dust on it, but there's one wrapped up down there. All right, that's about it in that one. So we got everything back to the store. Um, actually, like two days ago. Yesterday, we were unloading, going through everything. I was gonna show like as we were going through some of the boxes, or as I was, but my camera was dead and then I went to so I was going through some boxes and I was like okay I'll let it charge and then the last few I will show and when I went to go get the camera apparently the whole all day long it was not charging so it was a hundred percent dead so and I was in a hurry I just had to continue to go through the boxes because we needed stuff out on the tables for the auction but I'm gonna show you right now some of the things that were in there in some of the boxes some of the stuff we might have already shown you know, when we were kind of going through some stuff at the unit, some of the stuff maybe not, but kind of do a quick skim through here. We have this big old, this is folded over. It's a big um, tapestry, wall tapestry of a matador and a bull. Let's see, going through here, I already showed these little five o'clock coasters here. No drinking until five. Some quilts and everything. Look at this vintage can opener. The graphics on that, that's kind of cool there. But stuff like this, we got the Peter Rabbit curtains. Some old locks, several of the stuffed animals. We showed these, the um, stuffed animals from the 70s. Ashtray there, that's a pretty, pretty funky little ashtray. Then we had another tapestry here of The Last Supper. It's folded over too, just cause, so it won't take up so much room on the table, because they're really big. Um, let's see, we, that doll lamp, we definitely showed it. But all this stuff here was out of there. It ended up being a Dutch oven. All the cast iron is pretty rough, but it can definitely, you know, be seasoned and get some of that rust and grime and everything off of it. Big cast iron. Deep pot right there. And this whole little 
measuring spoon, measuring cup and measuring spoon set here. Has the little hangers and everything. And it'll be in lots of these little um, figures with the chains. Dogs there. Got the vintage magnets. But yeah, as you can see right here, there's several of the little figures with the chains in this area. juicer there you got the vintage pyrex we ended up one of the lamps there was missing the whole bottom there was two of them but it was miss i mean literally that was just gone so it wasn't even going to stand up so that we got one of the vintage lamps here i never did, we showed the lampshade here but didn't show the actual lamps that's pretty cool there's another one of those these plates right here are pretty cool they kind of look like, you know, the oven proof or fireproof stuff, but speaking of, we got Fire King baking dishes there. And these are all um, Fire King right here on the mugs, whole set of the white Fire King mugs. And this is actually, I don't know, this might be the same as that other ashtray, but here's two more of those ashtrays. little elf here he's kind of cool and there's actually another one of those that i found later on it's down there and more things on the chain and then there's some of the furniture and there's a few things that we haven't looked at yet and then all this miscellaneous junk here i've still got to kind of finish off and lot up here for the auction this is kind of just this isn't complete we still got to get all this fixed everything was wrapped in all this um newspaper from 1979 it's kind of interesting when you look at some of the prices here I mean, look at this right here dollar general in 1979 celebrating their 40th year i didn't even know they'd been around that long so that would have put them like it um if that was their 40th year that would have been 1939 that dollar general had been around for come right here and look this is kind of interesting a couple interesting things about this one first off firestone sells tvs but firestone more than a tire store but look at these, um, and this is like the after a Christmas clearance. Look at the price on this TV right here. All right, this is a 19 inch color TV. A little small 19 inch, $356. I just looked up a while ago, you can get a 50 inch 4K smart TV at Walmart right now for $199. And back then you would have paid $356 for a 19 inch color TV. Look, a 12 inch just a tiny little 12 inch black and white TV was $79. Come over here, we got Winn-Dixie. Look at a couple grocery store prices. Definitely prices have gone up here. A gallon of Clorox bleach was 83 cent. Um, roll of Bounty paper towels, 86 cent. Spam, $1.19. I don't know how much that costs now. Here's a, a jar of Heinz baby food was 20 cent. Here's more grocery store prices. Come over here, we got gun prices. A Winchester 1200 slide 12 gauge shotgun, $139. So let me come right. Look, Converse All Stars, 20 bucks for the Converse All Star. And then you come down here, like stereo pricing. Some of these were pretty expensive back in then. Here's a Sanyo stereo system, $399. That would have been a lot of money back then to spend on a stereo system. Appliances, GE washer 248, GE driver 188, so they've gone up some, but really not a huge amount because you can go buy, um, you know, 400 and something dollars, kind of buy a basic washer or a basic dryer, but I mean, for it to be 40 something years, not a crazy, crazy increase, but some of the stuff, like some of the electronics you can actually get cheaper now, it's kind of funny. That's pretty much it overall the unit um pretty good unit a lot of there was a lot of a lot of the stuff is really dirty a lot of stuff is really dingy a lot of the stuff which obviously that can be clean but then there was a lot of cracked stuff chipped stuff you know all this chip this thing's broken foot off it's been glued back together and everything but pretty cool unit everything straight out of the 70s not a single thing in the unit that was after 1979 when all the um the dates on the newspaper were so it's basically like a time capsule from the 70s. And really the weird thing is not a whole lot of stuff that seemed like it was much before the 70s. It seemed like most everything was kind of in that era of the 70s. 
you know, maybe a few things, but not a lot of stuff that was much older than that. But that's it for this unit. We're, we've got some definitely got some cleanup to do. Got to get the furniture out here and get it um, lined up for the auction. That's where most of the furniture for this unit is going to go and kind of get this thing finished off. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this and all the other units we get, then hit that subscribe button. You'll have a good one.